I am Dr. Vaseem Sajad and today we will try to learn cerebral venous thrombosis. How we can detect cerebral venous thrombosis on different radiological imaging modalities. Cerebral venous thrombosis is basically detected and diagnosed because of the effects which it causes. Cerebral venous thrombosis cause ischemic infarcts inside the brain. These infarcts are different from the arterial ischemic infarcts because in arterial ischemic infarcts there is inadequate arterial flow to the brain parenchyma and due to this inadequate arterial flow there is necrosis of the brain tissue and then infarct occurs. But on the other hand if the draining veins of the brain parenchyma are obstructed or thrombosed. There will be inadequate outflow of the blood from the brain parenchyma and due to this inadequate venous flow, the oxygenation of the brain parenchyma is compromised and the infarct occurs. Cerebral venous thrombosis causes venous infarcts. The first thing which distinguishes arterial infarcts from the venous infarcts is the location of the venous infarcts. Arterial infarcts are always in the territory of the specific arteries which are supplying the brain. If there is defect in the middle cerebral artery, the area which is supplied by the middle cerebral artery is affected. In cerebral venous thrombosis, when there is thrombosis in any vein of the brain, the area which is drained by that vein is affected. So there are different venous sinuses in the brain. We know superior sagittal sinus, inferior sagittal sinus, transverse sinus, straight sinus, sigmoid sinus, petrosal sinuses and the median cerebral vein, great cerebral vein. So if there is thrombus in any of these veins, the area which is drained by that particular vein is not oxygenated properly and there is necrosis of that area and we call it as ischemic infarct or venous ischemic infarct of the brain. So first of all when there is any neurological deficit we advise a CT scan brain. In CT scan brain if there is area of ischemic necrosis and this area of ischemic necrosis is not confined to a particular artery or the territory of a particular artery, then the suspicion of cerebral venous thrombosis arises. When you suspect cerebral venous thrombosis, then we go, the next modality is CT with contrast. In CT with contrast, we try to detect the cerebral veins and the cerebral venous sinuses. There is a filling defect inside the cerebral venous sinuses. This filling defect is due to thrombus and so the CVT is diagnosed. But the modality of choice and the imaging modality of choice for the diagnosis of CVT is the MRV. MR venography. This is a contrast phased MRV contrast injection, gadolinium based contrast injection is injected and the cerebral veins and the, all the venous sinuses are imaged and any thrombus inside these sinuses appears as a hypointense focus. So contrast enhanced MRV is the modality of choice to diagnose CVT and in CVT the area of ischemic necrosis is not confined to the particular arterial territories of the brain. Suppose if the great cerebral vein or the straight sinus thrombus is present, then the basal ganglia and the thalamus are affected. If there is thrombus in the superior sagittal sinus, then the bilateral necrosis of the cortical and subcortical areas occurs. Similarly, every sinus has a different area of drainage and with thrombus inside that specific sinus that area is affected 
and due to this affected area there is neurological deficit thank you